Well, general criminal cases, whether, you know, any type of felony, whether it's an assault, a murder, a rape, or a sex type of a sex allegation, it's going to take longer. The, the investigations are different. It's not always on video. We have to find witnesses. We have to interview those witnesses. And again, every attorney is, is different. We just took a case over down in, in Richland where a young 14-year-old was accused of uh, basically a school threat. And there were four witnesses to the case and the first attorney on it never even interviewed. And she told the prosecutor, yeah, my guy will plead guilty. And I started interviewing the four witnesses to it. And I was like, no, he didn't, he didn't make a threat. He didn't, he didn't threaten us. It was this principal who there, turns out there's a long history of animosity between him and a certain group of kids at that school. And it's a private school. Um, so he, he essentially told these four witnesses what to write down. And the police ended up agreeing with me. The chief of police ended up agreeing with me. The prosecutor, then when I turned this all over to him, who hadn't interviewed anyone, said, okay, well, we'll dismiss the case. So that, but that was still a long process. I mean, that, that was four months worth of us you know, digging through and, and finding the information that we needed to defend the client. One of the first things we do is we ask for, well, first of all, we file our not guilty plea. So that allows us to go into the case and see what the case is going to look like, get evidence and proceed from there. So once our not guilty is in, we file for discovery, which is asking the prosecutor to turn over whatever they have. If we think it's a case that doesn't look great and we think they should probably resolve it by entering a plea, we tell them that. There's no sugarcoating. We're going to tell you what your case looks like. So it's evaluating the case and then at that point making a determination of what's going to be in their best interest. That could be going to trial, that could be resolving it with a plea. Some of the misdemeanor cases are a shorter period of time. I would say if we had to give an average, they probably resolve on average in about 90 days. Felony cases take longer. Again, it depends what court you're in. Some of the courts will require cases to move quicker. But from our standpoint, we don't necessarily like to rush cases through because we like to see every single piece of evidence so that we know what we're dealing with. So felony cases a little bit longer. Some of them go on for 12 months. It just depends on the circumstances. 